the second female, uh, Protobothrops gerardoni xanthomelis, uh, has uh, started giving birth. There's uh, a bunch of babies in the sack there, and so to speak, and uh, um, I can see some one, two, at least two more, uh, maybe three more big lumps inside. So we'll see what the, comes out, but fortunately I have to go to work. She's uh, very cautiously watching me. Um, I do see some muscle contractions there in the lower section of her body. You're okay, Mom. Uh, no one's going to hurt you. Only one of the seven uh, uh, ate yesterday, uh, which is okay. It was still very early for them. Uh, there has to be one leader in the bunch. Yep. Uh, I just saw Gabby do a big yawn from across the room. I see Carol Channing uh, motoring around. see uh, one King Cobra looking at me. Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's sitting up. These babies seem to hang out in their uh, their birth sac uh, a reasonably long time. Just sort of sit there and chill. Okay, I see more of a contraction. And I imagine uh, you guys can see that too. It's a fairly large uh, magnitude uh, uh, contraction. I'm trying not to disturb or upset her. Um, this is a uh, definite uh, area of babies. I don't know if this is one that's sort of uh, squished flat. Uh, this may be a baby up high. Um, but I don't uh, I don't really know and I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Um, unfortunately uh, I might have to uh, depart here soon and, uh, and go take uh, my normal day uh, and get that going uh, and just let nature uh, take its course here I have no idea if these snakes, uh, if disturb can sort of stop the labor process or, you know, it's more of a, uh, it's on autopilot and uh, it's going to happen uh, deal.
having some uh, major contractions going on. My uh, strangely uh, active inquiring mind wonders you know, if there's a natural uh, um, sedative or tranquilizer uh, the babies sort of uh, have uh, to keep them from punching their way out uh, uh, right away. Um, You know, one would think that they're getting their oxygen uh, transfer from the tissues of the mother's uh, reproductive tract. Um, and as that membrane sort of dries out, uh, I'm wondering if there's uh, less uh, oxygen transport through the membrane because of its, uh, its drying. And that's what uh, prompts the little bugger to come out and uh, uh, breathe uh, for the first time. Okay, we see some uh, action a little bit higher up in the, the snake's reproductive tract. I'm not really certain you know, how long it might take to push those uh, probably three embryos I would imagine uh, out the door. Um, I'm guessing that she'll end up with about seven like the other mother. Um, be very nice if we had uh, uh, matching sexes for a change rather than uh, you know a total skew of uh, sexes either a bunch of males or a bunch of females what the hell is happening here oh. That was uh, gravity taking over. You're okay, Mom.
You almost got it there, Mom. With the uh, relative small size that uh, that's just on its way out now, uh, might lead me to believe that she might have more than seven. Not like some snakes I've seen give birth where they just, uh, you know, have the whole bunch uh, just comes, all, all the little babies come shooting out in their sacks, sort of like, you know, diarrhea. Uh, sorry for the uh, rather graphic uh, description, but, you know, they just come all uh, shooting out in, you know, one big load. Yeah, that's a good mommy. Oh, you gotta have a few more in there. Probably three or four more, right? Huh? Relax, relax, mom. Okay, we got that one out of the chute. <laughs> 